Now, I apologize for the background music, but I think somewhere in the community, in this small village, someone is going to get married or it's the start of the wedding ceremony. If it is Thursday, that means it's going to go to Sunday and it's going to be very loud over the next three days, four days. I hope it doesn't disturb you. All right, let's get into it. And if you want to see me dancing to the local Cambodian traditional music, then stay to the very end. I do have some wonderful dancing. Uh, it's probably worse than the Macarena. Today is Thursday, the 10th of February 2022. And today is related about the levels once again. Now, I'm going to start off with the levels straight away. And we're looking at the Free Gorges Reservoir. Now, this has gone up again, 170.24. Don't have the inflow, but the in outflow has increased to 6,080. And at the top of the reservoir, Kutan, you can see that one as well, 170.52. Brings me to sort of conclusions. Now, since September, September, October, November, December, January, now halfway, pretty close to halfway through February. Oh, it's Valentine's Day next week. I better buy Sophie a little present or take her out for a nice dinner or cook or something. I digress. <clears throat> so, what is happening? Now, we thought it could be the Olympics and they were saving the water, but it has that hasn't app apparently happened. It's now the 10th of February. The Olympics started on the 4th. The levels have gone up once again. This time of year, it should be 160, 155, possibly ready for April, which is only two and a half months away. No, a month and a half away now. Wow, uh, ready for the floods if they're going to happen, but it's still at 170. I could imagine that if if it doesn't get resolved soon and it's not down to the safety level at the beginning of the flood season of 145 meters, then they are going to open up the sluice gates if they can open up the sluice gates. I've just got a sneaky feeling, and this is just a feeling, I don't have any evidence that I do watch this on a daily basis for a moment or two and think, why is it not going down? So the electricity, the output, maybe at 18 to 20 percent maybe today a little bit higher at 21 percent don't know but why the levels are, ha haven't been going down is the free gorge dam knackered beyond repair some people will tell me it's not there it went a long time ago yeah i know that but the senator hub basically near enough proved that it was there that's photographic evidence with a timestamp on it now if it was manipulated by the ccp or the free gorges corporation we don't know again that's another uh, secret from uh, xi jinping and his cronies or the leader and his gang basically so it leads to a theory and a, a practical theory what's happened with the free gorges if it can't get rid of the water what's going to happen come april may june july when the the flood season does occur is it going to overflow it's all to wait and see and we don't have any webcams uh we don't really have any people in china <laughs> who can go and see because it's a fair distance for from where most of my friends are. I think I have one I could contact in Chongqing, but convincing them to go, well, they would need to be paid for the effort. And that's another story entirely. So what do you think? Don't please say the Free Gorges Dam is gone, but what do you think has happened to the actual control of the water? Because it doesn't seem to be going down. Have a think about it and drop me a comment. And share as well we will get to the weather in a moment or two but um yesterday we were talking about i showed you a map of basically the three gorges and kilometers in radiuses if you remember that 500 a thousand thousand five two thousand and i say is it possible that a jet fighter could fly that distance and sort of like put in a little 
uh, missile and then come back again. I didn't know. And some people said, yep, um, these stealth bombers can actually go 12,000 kilometers, which would be more than enough to do it. And then I forgot about this entirely, that of course you have the drones as well that have a little missile on the bottom there and they could drop it from, I don't know, 200 kilometers away. And it doesn't really matter if the drone comes back or not. Highly unlikely and I hope it never happens in any form like that, but it is possible. So thank you to all the subscribers and the people who do comment related to that. Sharing knowledge is great and as long as it makes sense, it's logical, people do respect it and knowledge is power. It's the same that Xi Jinping doesn't have any knowledge. Okay, let's take a quick look at the weather for you and you can see that there's a little bit of snow, there's a little bit of fog, there's a little bit of rain and a little bit of dryness and I could imagine that it's still quite cold. It is February but next month it will start to get a bit warmer there but not drastically warm. It's still going to be chilly. You would need a fur hat or a bubble hat or something to keep you warm and some woolly socks as well. Now, related to the Free Gorges Dam, that's all I've really got to do for today. But do check out a video I made yesterday, and it's about this guy called Jason Lightfoot. He's one of the Western guys from the United Kingdom who lives in England, sorry, who lives in China with his wife. They got a baby boy now, and compares China to America and basically like he says China is far better than America and basically I did a counter reply to his show and saying every country is good and bad China has good things America has good things America has bad things China has bad things China is not just a bed of roses and if you go into news programs like China in Focus or China Uncensored or even Crossroads with Joshua uh, Thingy Majobi, I've forgotten his name, I haven't watched it for ages to be honest with you, would all be there related to the, the other things which are happening in China, especially the uh, hot topics at the moment like the Olympics and DNA uh, cloning and they can't talk out about what's happening in Xinjiang, it's just either they get the gold medal and shut up or they can talk about it but then they'll be sent home etc it's a long story it's not the best olympics in the world shouldn't have really been done it shouldn't even been held in uh, beijing it should have been should have gone to the other people who deserve it far more and i think it would have been a much better olympic games haven't been watching it don't really care about it to be honest with you but i'm um, going way off topic again i'll tell you what Here's my dancing, just to make you a little bit happy. America. You could say possibly the same kind of thing. I'm not going to go into the politics there. But when this guy does China versus America or USA in certain things and doesn't do it correctly, that sort of really annoys me. Mr. Jason Lightfoot is an English guy. I think he's been in China for about eight years, he married a Chinese girl, he's got a baby, he's happy, whatever. And I have no problem when you go to a ski resort, for example, and you are just saying what China, what life is like in China, that's fine, happy, because I learned something. I have been in Asia for 28 years, I've been countless times into mainland China, Hong Kong, and of course the country of Taiwan, if you're listening. And when you did your video about shopping centers in China compared to the USA, you were in a shopping center, that's fine, okay, a standard shopping center, nothing much different to a shopping center in the country of Taiwan or in Hong Kong or Thailand or Malaysia, all basically the same. But then you show shopping centers in America and you show them being robbed. This happens all around the world, my friend, and yes, it even does happen in China. Don't believe me? Go on your VPN, go to Google, and you will see, type in uh, China shopping malls stealing or robbery or theft, and you will see it's as common as it is in the United States. So what I thought I'd do with this video, 
is do the opposite and this is what you're doing and um, um, where can we say I'm just trying to find the pictures here okay so this is what you're showing first of all a shop in America being robbed and then you search the a shop in that is about it for me for today. Thank you, as always, for your time. A like, subscribe, and share. Do share this on your social media, on your Twitter, on your Facebook, if you do like it. Do check out some of the other shows that I have made related to the Free Gorgia Dam or China or anything. My playlist is quite long. It hasn't really been organized in it for a while, but do check it out because there's an evening of entertainment if you want to hear my whining voice for three or four hours be good be well thank you bye bye for now see you next time There's one more thing, there's one more thing that I forgot to mention. My friend in, sorry, I'm moving the camera back to where it was. My friend in Taiwan, uh, oh good God, no, 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 hold on. My friend in Taiwan has just made a live video today. I'll put a link in the description, go and check it out. And he goes into more details about these Westerners who are in China who, who do the, uh, I've forgotten the word, who do the, um, CCP narrative for them in English and say China is wonderful, America is bad. I forgot all about it. Now I'll say bye bye again. Cheerio! Bye bye!